Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Friday, November 1st, 2019. Happy Dia de las Muertos. And this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From ZDNet, tens of thousands of Wi-Fi routers are vulnerable to an updated form of the GAFGIT, I hope I said that right, malware, also known as Bashlight or QBot, and may end up as part of a botnet in a DDoS for hire scheme. The malware targets vulnerabilities in Huawei, Realtek, and Zizel wireless routers. From TechCrunch, several vulnerabilities have been found in the Horde open source web email software that allow hackers to steal the contents of your inbox. Horde was notified of the vulnerabilities back in May, but has yet to acknowledge them. Some, but not all, of the flaws were fixed in the latest Horde update. From ThreatPost, Chinese state-sponsored hacking group APT41 is using a new malware called MessageTap to spy on SMS messages. In particular, they are targeting specific phone numbers and keywords associated with Chinese political dissidents. Details in the article. From SC Magazine, domain name registration and web development services provider web.com has disclosed a data breach that also affects customers of its network solutions and register.com brands. PII for some portion of their customers was exposed, but no credit card or payment information. The company is notifying affected customers and doing a forced password reset for all customers. And last this week, from ZDNet, thousands of network-attached storage devices from Taiwanese vendor QNAP have been infected with a new strain of malware named QSnatch. Attack vector and propagation techniques are not yet known, but at least 7,000 devices have been infected in Germany alone. For the time being, the only confirmed method of removing QSnatch is to perform a full factory reset of the device. That's all for me this week. Have a great weekend, and until Monday, be safe out there.